Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a sausage and egg pasta bake using my own homemade pasta sauce. So let's begin. Okay then, so I've got my frying pan here. I've already added a couple of um, tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm just going to turn up to seven and heat the oil up a bit. My water here for the pasta, I'll turn that on as well so that I can add the pasta and once that is slightly hot I'm going to add the sausages which I'm going to snip. Right so the oil is getting hot so let's snip these sausages. I'm going to do them in threes. I usually cut them with a knife but I thought I'd try these scissors. These are well good. Don't want to cut your finger with these do you? Right so these sausages I'm just going to leave them there to gently brown off. Okay, so the sausages are slightly browned all over, so I'm going to add my homemade tomato sauce. I've left some details in the description about this. Oh, that just burnt me. So I'm just going to add it all in there. I'm going to chuck some water in there and rinse it out a bit. water, cover it up, shake it about and chuck it in there. Mm, delicious. And I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and just on time my water for the pasta is ready. So I'm gonna chuck in the pasta there, add some salt, and I'll cook this for 10 minutes. I want it al dente. And this I better cover it up. And what I'll do, I'll cover it up I'll turn it right down to number three so it just simmers there and now all we've got to do is wait for the penne pasta to cook. Okay so I'm going to turn everything off and I'm going to take the water out of this pasta. Okay then so next um, I'm just going to spoon some juice of this onto here, just a little bit. That's enough. And then the pasta, I will add it all on here should fit because this is like for two people. I, I bought this thingy because it's exactly for a lasagna. For two. Two hungry people. Okay, so spreading all the penne pasta nicely there. By the way, I've never made this, but should come out okay, shouldn't it? And then the rest, I'm going to Put it all over. And also, I'll also spread it about as best as I can. I 
That should be okay, I think. No? By the way, you re probably realise that today I didn't use any garlic or paprika or, or onion or anything. That's because this homemade sauce already has plenty of that stuff. So have a look at the link below how I made it. I plan to make another one soon, but a hot one for everyday use, like a dipping hot sauce. Okay, that is done. So next, I'm going to grab some foil. Cover it up as best as I can. Sorted. And this I'm gonna put it in the in the oven from cold, fan assisted, and 200 degrees Celsius, which I think is 390 Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna leave it there for half an hour. So I'll see you back once that half an hour is done. Okay, so this has been in the oven for 30 minutes and now I can hear it sizzling there, bubbling away. It wants to burn me for sure. So very carefully take away the paper. Ah, can help. Ah, oh, God, no, sake. Caramba. Oi, look at that. Should be okay. I've never made this, by the way. So, a blind man's guiding you today. It's okay, it's it's juicy. It's not dry at all, you know. So now, I'm not sure really if to add the cheese first and then the eggs, or the eggs, then the cheese. Um, what I'm going to do is Crack the eggs in. Hope the eggs are okay inside. You don't get one with red bits in. Wow, look at that. One for my darling wife and one for me. Hey, don't go that way. I don't want you in the corner. Get in here. Yeah, look at that. Let's build a little wall. Oh. I want it in the middle. For the thumbnail, you know? Yeah, look at that. Oi, sorted. Sorted, mate. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chuck it in the oven for five minutes. Um, I think I'll close it. Ah! Yeah, five minutes in the oven. Okay! So then five minutes are over and let's see what surprise we have here. I don't know what to expect. I expect them to be cooked Hard. That's the idea, really. Not going to be soft, are they? Ah, look at that! No way! It's stuck to my... Look! 
big stuck to the top. That's my fault. So let's sort this out quickly. It's gonna be Wait, that one goes there. And way that one goes there. And a bit of pasta. Okay, well. It could be worse, couldn't it? Let's see how the juices are doing. I did okay. Oops. Mmm. Yummy. Delicious. So what I'm going to do now... is... cheese. This cheese is especially for melting and it's cheese from cow, sheep and goat. So I'm just going to shove some on top. It's really nice cheese this. I use it for my pizzas all the time. I make my own homemade pizzas with home bought, home bought, store bought dough. But I do plan to make my own dough for pizzas, freezable dough. I'm sure it's not that hard, is it? If I can make bread, it should be easy. Okay, that's enough cheese. We don't want a lot. So, no, no way I'm going to touch that. I'm going to shove it back in the oven. I'm going to shove it in the oven, but on the top bit, for five minutes. There we go. So here it is. The final product. Done, at last. What do you think? Well... Smells bloody good. I don't know if it looks that good. Maybe it needed a bit more juice. I'm not too sure. No, nah, it's okay. That'll do. Well. Thank you for watching today's recipe video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um please give me a like if you did enjoy it leave me a comment too and let me know anything tell me anything I will respond as soon as possible so once again thank you for watching and goodbye